welcome back uh, in this chapter we are going to in this lesson we are going to study installing and configuring jdk 1.8 in windows so like we have done for notepad and sublime okay we just have to search for let's say jdk for download uh, let's go to the first link it says an option to download so yes, let me click on accept license and agreement there are many what um, <clears throat> jdk is available for different different operating system so mine is windows 64 bit okay if you want to know what whether your windows is 32 bit or 64 bit you just want to uh, right click on your pc and go to properties and here you see that system type that is 64 bit operating system same with there it would have written as 32 bit so i'll go ahead and i will click on this windows 64 jdk 1.2 1.8 so that is jdk iphone 8 u 101 that means uh, 8 is the version okay and 101 is a revision okay that is a update on top of jdk whatever they have released so this is the latest one which we are using so the download is complete i will go here and i will copy this or i'll cut this and i'll go to d drive software folder there's a folder called java let me paste this here see again you don't need to download is available at fillite you can come and copy at any time there's a dedicated laptop which contains all the software which you share it can just bring your pen drive you can log into fillet students account and the password is fillet rocks and copy all this software whatever we've been uh, downloading and installing so far i'll come back to this uh, i'll double click on this the same usual step i'll follow the only difference in this lesson is like the way we configure okay there's an one more extra environment variable we'll add let me click next next so again i'll click on next this time is installing uh, jre And you click on close okay the next step is if you go to c drive program files java jdk and you can see there's a folder called bin and there are two important files like we see in vlc.exe notepadplusplus.exe same way related to java there is a file called java.exe and javac.exe these are the two executable files which have highest important for us in our uh, coming lessons so i want this both to execute okay so what i can do i can simply add this path to path environment variable which you already know but one small change i will do what i'll do here i will copy this path but not the bin i'll go to again environment variable environment system environment variables environment variables here i will create one new variable called java underscore home and i'll paste that path remember up to jdk not till the bin except bin we have the complete path of jdk installation directory why we are doing this what is the importance of java underscore home in during java basis training you don't have any dependency on java underscore home there's a one brand new environment variable which you are creating in future there are many applications many apps which are developed using java will look for an environment variable called java underscore home through which they will figure out where the jre is java is java virtual machine is so through which they will figure it out so that's the reason we need to have this one and i'll go to path environment variable now and i click on edit and here what i'll do uh, i'll click on edit text you can simply add what a uh, new and add this the reason why i use edit text is because if you are using jdk sorry windows 7 or something this process this window is what you see when you click on edit so here i will add semicolon so this time let me uh, do it in a different way 
as in instead of adding it to the end i will add it to, i will add it to the beginning the reason is because when you install jdk you will create something called this c program files oracle java program data oracle java java path so this would cause a problem in future for us so uh, the reason is because he creates something called virtual path so we don't want that one so just for an uh, assurance the moment somebody types java this should be the in the first location so that operating system can look in this path itself so since i already have an another environment variable that is java underscore home either i can add the complete path like this slash bin separated by semicolon either i can add complete path or i can also do java sorry percentage java underscore home percentage slash bin remember uh, earlier we have done echo percentage path uh, percentage so same way this will replace with the value which java underscore home contains so which is this okay so let's press ok and ok i will close this and i will reopen if i type java c iphone version if you are getting the output like this that means jdk is installed and configured properly java underscore iphone version we should see some something like this i uh, remember when you do this if it doesn't work please rewatch the video understand see if you have missed any semicolon or slash or any steps you didn't do well or you might have fast forwarded the video to do it quickly and you might have uh, failed to achieve it so i would suggest you and uh, since i keep the video hours okay as minimum as possible in all the coming videos so i request you to what um, pay attention to every um, a second and make sure that you follow exactly what i say see you in the next video